Hi Pisces, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We're taking a look at your important message, something that you need to hear regarding your current or your upcoming situation. So let us, ooh, let us go ahead and begin. Look at your powerful opening card. We have the Ace of Swords. We're looking at the Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, and the King of Cups as your opening message all right so let's go ahead and take a look here pisces the ace of swords i mean here this is an authoritative energy so you are breaking through with an idea with a position with this authoritative and demanding energy knowing that you are the best you are receiving the best what you possess is valuable to others the nine of cups in your obstacle area hmm what we see here the nine of cups there, there is this energy of feeling happy gratitude um appreciative you know a lot of blessings are pouring in now with this though because this is in your obstacle area pisces it's showing here that you can receive all that you desire okay with the elimination of things that may be slowing down your progress or holding you back from obtaining the highest happiness or fulfillment or joy because we see here with this five of swords this this is you in your position pisces for this reading you're looking back okay knowing that you are holding your your position your power your ideas but there there's an energy here that doesn't align with what you represent or it doesn't align with what you are trying to achieve. And it could be keeping you back from reaching your throne, from your cup, from your ultimate desire, your love, your, your goals. So there could be someone here that is putting doubt in your mind, or at least trying to, they could be trying to overthrow you on your crown figure or your throne, figuratively speaking, or trying to take your crown, trying to take your ideas. Um, so there's this energy of like cutting, cutting the cord. Okay. It's like you are cutting communication. You're cutting them off. You're cutting, whether it's those ideas, those thoughts, that energy that, you know, is just keeping you back when you know, you need to move forward. And it's only then Pisces, when you move forward, that you realize that you're better off without this energy that was holding you back. Hmm. Because here we see that you're meant to be like on the throne, figuratively. Like you're meant to be seen. You're meant to be recognized. You're meant to be this king in your niche, in your position, in your industry, with your talent. You're meant to be seen maybe with other people or connections. You're meant to be fit for your queen, okay? But this person or these people are like trying to keep you in their lower level, trying to keep you small thinking, trying to make it... It's almost like this energy of like belittling you uh, because they don't want you to have the best or they don't want you to see yourself as the best. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look here at your second energy opening up or your second reading. We have the three of wands. We're looking at the knight of wands, eight of swords, and the two of pentacles. Okay. Pisces, I see some of you, you're anxious. Like you are looking to transfer, move, like you're, you're looking to get yourself out there. <laughs> it's like you want to go on a trip, you want to go on an adventure, you want to go on vacation in a new destination. You are exploring other alternatives. It could also be your brand or your career, your projects. You're looking to change something up. You want to take it in a new, in a new state, in a new flow. Because here in your obstacle area, we see the Knight of Wands. Okay. It's showing that you may be struggling with this change or struggling to see how you can make this change possible. It's like you feel it, you know, it's on the brink of changing. You can feel it in the air, but you don't know which step to go where to navigate or how you're going to navigate, what resources are needed or necessary. Because in your area of opportunity, we see the eight of swords. So it's showing that it's like you are capable of what you are trying to accomplish, Pisces, but it's all in your head that's really keeping you back. It's not the physical form. It's the mental capacity in which you may feel limited. 
So it's like you have the plan, you have the resources, you have the determination, but your thoughts, your thoughts could be the, the very thing that keeps you bound, that keeps you back, that holds that wall that you think is your barrier. Now in your near outcome, we see the two of pentacles. So also in your area of um, advice, the two of pentacles is showing Pisces that take things day by day, little by little, step by step. The two of pentacles is also showing that as long as you remain in this energy of flow, then all the other things will eventually come together and go. Okay. So it's, it's showing that you need to keep moving. You need to keep moving. You need to keep putting the pieces together. You need to start doing those small steps little by little. And I'll give you an example that's coming to mind, Pisces. If some of you are looking to like move, okay, maybe it's like moving overseas. Maybe some of you are looking to um, open a business, okay? I see that it's like a grand thing. It's a big thing. It's a big leap. Starting off little by little can make the big feat seem like a small achievable victory day by day. So slowly start with selling your stuff. Then it comes to, um, you know, writing out your itinerary, setting out your goals, putting up like a vision board. <laughs> okay. Maybe start saving, slowly saving your money from the things that you have sold off. So things like that, when you set small intentions and goals, then you'll be able to look back and see that you accomplished a bigger victory that may have seemed daunting or, um, may have seemed more intimidating than what it needed to be. The two of pentacles, we also see here managing money could be helpful for you in the near future as well, especially with this big move that you're trying to do. Or again, this physical, I, it's more like a physical activity. Again, whether it's a big travel trip coming in, it's maybe you relocating, you rebranding, changing, um, you are going to need some resources. So starting now with managing your resources, your time, your budget will benefit you later where you're not trying to scramble and get it all done at once. As we look at your third message, we have the page of swords, queen of wands, king of wands, and the four of cups. Hmm. Now what's interesting is that a lot of you Pisces are feeling inspired. Okay. You're feeling very motivated. You're ready to take on the world. You're ready to take charge. There's this energy of curiosity, wanting to see what's ahead, wanting to see if you are capable of what you've learned and applying it into the real world. It's very powerful that we see the queen and the king showing up together because this is a like a power couple. Okay. So I do see that for some of you, you may be putting yourself out there to meet the right person for you that aligns with your energy in terms of dating or love. Because in your future outcome and in your um, advice area, the four of cups is saying, do not accept something that you know that you no longer thirst for. It's not your cup of tea. You're no longer settling for anything that you used to take delight in when you know that your tastes have changed to something a lot more um, higher, okay? a lot more advanced. It's like preferences change, um, hobbies change, love changes, ideas change. And some of you, you're realizing, okay, you, you once enjoyed that, but now you're thinking like big, okay. You're, you're on a bigger, higher level. You're wanting to connect. And, um, this energy is very serious. These two, they're serious about love and relationships. Okay. Because they're looking into this as marriage. When we look at collaborations, they are serious. They're about business and long-term success. How can we, you know, combine and <laughs> form an alliance where we can both be successful? They are both creators, creatives. Okay. So with their vision combined, they can create a bigger picture. They each bring something to the table that can make something much bigger. And uh, when we look at careers too, okay, the careers, this is forming your position, forming your skills. Who can you learn from as a mentor to improve yourself, make yourself more valuable where you don't have to go back to the lower ranks or where you don't have to go back into like ground position or a starting position. There's this energy of being adaptable. Okay. So adapting to the new times, adapting to new energies, also being open to the fact that Pisces, sometimes we change as people and that's okay. 
that's okay if you change, if your preferences have changed, because that's what life is all about. Being curious, learning, learning from, you know, people learning from mistakes, learning through our education and from our path that life throws at us. So a lot of you Pisces, you're on this path of higher learning to put you in a higher position to connect with higher frequencies. And you're no longer going to accept that maybe this is your reality where at least where you are receiving the little, um, the small, what would I say? This is like small. This is just like a little drop into the bucket when you can have the whole C. Some of you Pisces, I see it's like you are not content with this reality that you're presently in. You are trying to manifest and bring something bigger, a bigger picture. You're trying to dream big, live big, experience big, love big, okay? Create big. That cup is not big enough for <laughs> your hopes and your dreams and your goals. It cannot be contained, what you are trying to do and what you're about to experience, Pisces. Speaking of not being contained, ooh, look at that. Ooh, Pisces, okay. This message, listen, 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 listen carefully because when we see the tower, a lot of times people dread seeing the tower because they think it's an end all be all. They think that this is a curse, but the tower, it really represents that this destruction, okay, this dismantling is meant for you to come across something much better, something that's going to be stronger, a form, like a firmer structure, a permanent base because this is just temporary also if you look closely pisces this on this card the the crown is knocked off okay the crown is knocked off showing also that sometimes what you think you know <laughs> the position you hold the the plans that you had it could change uh in, a, in an instant at a batten of an eye okay and i always use this expression you can plan a pretty pic what well, you can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. Let me know if you guys know where that's from Pisces. <laughs> so it's like you can plan everything up until the point where the, the lightning strikes. So a lot of you Pisces is like you, you may have been trying to plan out your life, or sometimes you may think life is just not going the way that you had expected. But this is here in your area of obstacle. The ace of cups is saying, Pisces, be open, be open to receive something much better. You thought this, you thought this structure that you were in was a high castle, but it's actually a prisoned tower. It was keeping you separated from people, from society, from other creatives, from love, from nature. Okay, look, look, look at this tower. It's surrounded by nothing. But while you were in the tower, it's like you were in your own bubble. You found excuses as to why you should stay. Oh, it's comfortable. Oh, it's shelter. Oh, it pays the bills. Oh, there's security. Oh, this is what I'm used to. This is all I know. But the universe is like, okay, well, let me throw you out, Pisces, so that way you can know something better. And here we see the Ace of Cups. It's like time to move out of your hometown. Time to get out of that dead-end relationship. Time to get out of that career that you've been hating for the last 10 years, okay? Time to let go of that friend that you know doesn't care about you, but you just hang on to them because you've known each other since preschool. It's something like that where it's like you've held on to this because it's all that you've known for so long that it separated you from what you were meant to explore and experience in a rich way. So the Ace of Cups, okay, this is your ultimate happiness. Look, we see the water, we see nature, we see the, the sun, we see animals. This is the highest happiness for you, Pisces. So here in your area of opportunity, the six of swords is saying like, let it go. Okay. Let go of the stress, the anxiety, the negativity, the fights, the drama, the gossiping, let go of the negativity and the toxicity that may surround you. Let go of also what you think you know about life or what you think you know about the way where you're meant to go because sometimes source, God, universe, your spirit guides, angels. Okay. They know what is best for you when you don't even know. Sometimes you will discover things that you didn't even know existed. And I always use that example of like social media, right? If, if somebody would have told 
if somebody would have told me, I don't know, like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, because I have been reading tarot for almost 15 years. If someone would have told me that, that I would have been doing this you know, in some type of video form, I would have thought they were crazy because I, I, YouTube didn't exist back then. I couldn't comprehend. What do you mean? Or it, some of you, you have jobs. Okay. You have a family situation. Some of you may come across your own business. You may living, maybe living in a new country, but at that time you cannot see it. You don't see how that's going to be possible, but it's only in hindsight. You're, you're able to look back and trace the steps and the dots and you'll see, Oh, it all started with that tower. An example, it all started with that job firing me. And then it put me in the path of finding a new job. And this job overseas was hiring. And I love this job now. It's flexible. It pays more, right? It's something like that. You would have never found your perfect soulmate had you not gone through that divorce. Had your heart not been shattered from discovering that they were cheating on you. But now it led to you discovering true love. True love out there. True love in a different part of the world. Okay, these are all figuratively speaking here. So it's like you are being separated from what you've always known or where you thought you were always meant to stay Pisces and you are in a position where there's flexibility. Okay. You are experiencing a whole new world. So be ready. The two of wands is saying, be ready for what is coming. And also as it's looking at both of these energies, be ready to understand that certain synchronicities and events happen in your life because it is meant to push you in a direction where you are receiving the best for your highest good. So if you'd like to see more of these messages, Pisces, let me know, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay well and be blessed.